Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, A War of the Chosen. We're continuing our Saving the Disaster campaign today with episode 4 of the Psionic Escalation. Uh, this is a specific campaign where we duck, uh, where the um, uh, creator of the campaign dug himself a pretty deep hole uh, by being negative on the income, essentially um, having no option to continue to expand and having many, many facilities around the globe so we got one facility here a full avatar uh, project another facility there another facility there another facility there that's four facilities which in itself is already bad so on average that'll net you four dots every single month give and take unless uh, we're destroying one of the facilities and the problem is really that um, I don't know why exactly uh, the uh, the expansion even happened to South America, uh, maybe for the resistance network, I don't know, but um, it is pretty far off from any location where we currently would want to be in. Uh, the optimal uh, location most likely would, or the optimal route probably would have been to take Europe, uh, that will give access to North America and to New, New India. Um, yeah, that's more or less what I would have done, but it is what it is. That's where we're currently sitting. Today we're going to run uh, through an episode of a guerrilla ops mission where we're hopefully trying to get a new scientist and um, uh, combat uh, the collateral damage uh, dark event, which would be more explosives. The team that I've prepared for that is essentially being led by Scarecrow. We do have put together whomever we can afford, but uh, we have not yet built, I think, uh, the items. How much money do we have? No, we have, we have built blue screen rounds. Uh, let me just equip the, uh, the guys real quick. All right, now I know what uh, the original problem was. We want to go in with uh, two snipers. And since one of them was tired, the um, game has switched him out. I, I already prepared the team. Anyways, we got two snipers with us, um, a specialist and our grenadier. We're still not having a med kit, which is unfortunate uh, to say the least. And we haven't uh, had much chance to purchase equipment. But as it stands, we need to really focus everything on making sure that we're reducing the advent counter at this point and just deal with what we have. Zero investments until we uh, find a way to to make progress, to um, expand and to hopefully get this here back on track. Let's see how well the mission runs. All right, here we go. We just landed. So it seems that we have seven rounds until the network shuts down. Apparently that is within this uh, yeah, drugstore or whatever. And this here looks like a parking lot. So it's pretty open terrain, no high ground as far as I'm concerned, which is a bit unfortunate because with the snipers, you usually, uh, usually like to have high ground. Let's move over here. Good. That's a difficult pack to start with. That's not going to be very uh, easy. Let's see, we got our frost bomb, which could help us in this case. Our snipers should take the best uh, shooting angles. Not the biggest fan of half cover. But this truck here takes away a lot of our optionality. This here would actually be absolutely fantastic. But unfortunately, we started on the wrong side of the map. So got to work with whatever the game gives you. And we're taking a close formation. The idea now is to hopefully deal with that pack in one go. I think it's the perfect, uh, since it's a heavily 
an, a heavily armored slash high hit point team, it's a perfect option for starting with a frost bomb. We're not going much closer to the pack for now. Reason for that is I don't want to trigger another pack. I think this here is an excellent opportunity for us to just work with what we've got. And a tiny bit closer. Let's use lightning hands just in case to optimize our damage. That's fine, didn't work out. Can still use a grenade just to shred the armor off of the targets. Don't think that the Templar will need it really. Being action efficient, we're moving further to the front line. And let's get all of them involved in a void rift. Armor does not count for uh, against it. Instead, they will take additional damage next turn for standing in the Void Rift. And we might even take over one of them. Nope. Mind Control missed. That's okay. Trying to get rid of the smaller Advents. This could be a kill. Well, of course not if you're missing. Still not going any closer. It's a pretty solid first turn. Just gotta deal with the high hit points. That's the biggest challenge here, I suppose. So this here might trigger another pack. I'm willing to accept that. Advent data pet, that is good. Agility, conditioning, hair trigger, pretty decent loot, I might say. And some focus on top of it, that's great. Let's try to Kill the Archon. All right, so that solves our problem with regard with uh, in regards with dealing with all of them. Got to be very careful. Already know there's another pack here. Most likely there is no pack here. No need to ask twice. So let's move as close as possible towards the actual target without getting there. And we're just parrying for now. Overwatch, that's it. Moving up. This triggers another pack. Uh, unfortunately, they spread out quite a bit. I was hoping for a little bit tighter formation. All right, moving up. Biggest challenge, certainly is the stun lancer good this here will uh blow a hole into the uh a hole into the wall as well and take away the cover from the stun lancer there we go plus some shredding worked like a charm let's take the best shots that we can get Perfect. 
Snipers are pretty much on point. I like that. So if we were to throw a grenade, that would not get him out of there. It's unfortunate. All right, so just double checking. One way of dealing with that situation could have been to stasis one and hit the other. Let's first of all hit up this guy and see that we're not triggering anything else. Nice little promotion earned. Well deserved. Could move up to here, probably risking to trigger yet another pack. I don't want that to happen. Instead, let's try to hit this guy. Didn't work. Let's try that again. Only a 40% chance. Instead, we're team working over and we're reloading. That'll be a higher action efficiency. I mean, we could go for this here. Might be a bit wasteful, but we got a second uh, rocket. So whenever you're, whenever you're short on actual damage output, you might want to invest into um, rockets and grenades because they usually tend to work quite well. This should kill him. Could have stasis. Um, would have stasis him. He's probably too far away to actually reach us. Um, slash, we'll move into the direction over here. Oh no, a grenade. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, that was risky. He could have thrown a grenade. Was well, not in range, which is good. Enemy reinforcements incoming. Well, that's fine. Let them come. Where exactly are they going to land? Oh, next turn, not even this one. Good copy. Moving on target. Target neutralized. All right. So we could move up all the way to here and then hack. Still, I don't know if we're going to trigger another pack, which is why I want to play it rather cool. And move close to the target, but not quite to the target. What? What are you even doing? I overwatched. And he's... Okay, whatever. Okay, we can now see where the reinforcements are coming in. My bad. Should have seen that in advance. We're definitely going to put our... Um, our Bladestorm... Templar right next to them so we should have enough uh, retaliations for all three of them as they are landing close to him little trick if you have blade storm use it wisely it can generate a phenomenal amount of 
um, of triggered attacks. Good. The mech is already toast. Nice. Yeah, and we're continuing to see a lot of damage. Love it. As if I would have smelled it, there was a last pack. All right, we got the workstation now. I would like to start with that. Can always move in further into cover. This here would solve our uh, problem of being broke. This here would probably in the short term be even better, but it's only 30%. So I'll take one bird in the hand instead of two in the brush. Unfortunately, that is not how the game works. I got zero birds, but we at least finished um, the mission objective, which is fine. Suppose that counts for something. Alright, can't really move that much closer. Uh, let's move all the way up to here. having really lords so uh, hitting anyone but the ad advanced purifier problem with the purifier is literally no one wants to get close to it because it can and will blow up the reason why I did not use the grenade is because it wouldn't have been a secured kill Alright, moving up into half cover. Ready for the fireworks. Getting very much ready for the fireworks. Nice shredding. Just trying to find the right position, the right angle. Good. That takes care of one of them. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. <coughs> Can clearly see why he, uh, why the creator of the save file did well, as long as he had psionics and did poorly as soon as they were gone. There is yet another pack. Which is another reason why I wouldn't specialize in psionics. If you are relying your entire campaign on two soldiers in a game where it is very likely that someone is going to die. And there is something inherently not optimal with the strategy. So you can probably can guess by now that I'm not the biggest fan of the psionic rushes. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I also want to call call out when I see that the strategy is just not working and I've seen many submissions of quasi failed campaigns that were not as um, down uh, the drain as this one here um, where I 
decided to not go for them uh, because it was not interesting enough of a um, of a disaster. It was uh, literally, yeah, moving into the campaign, uh, finding out uh, that I don't know in month two or three that you are running uh, that you're falling behind in the weapon uh, progress, and then deciding uh, to uh, to give up and try again. It's a super high risk strategy, from as far as I can tell, and it's not really worth it. Feel free to leave comments down below if you have a different opinion about that. I'm pretty sure there will be one or two viewers that valiantly will defend the honor of um, the psionic uh, rush strategies. Just keep in mind, if you compare it to a normal uh, approach, a good strategy should be reliable and should um, help you to uh, effectively overcome the challenges of the game. The psionic uh, 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 rush strategy uses the resource that you literally have the least of at the very beginning, which is Hilarium. It um, forces you to sacrifice XP because a big portion of your runs will include some sort of uh, psionic, um, uh, psionic class of psyops to be in your team. And you end up with a mediocre remaining uh, squad. You pump, uh, pump also a lot of resources into fast tacking of psionics uh, to even get to that point, upgrading them. And it's a matter of opportunity cost. So I can definitely see where this campaign here just went completely uh, belly up. And it's rather the norm and not the exception for those psi rushes. Yeah, feel free to let me know what you think about uh, them. Have you played one uh, as a serious strategy, not as a challenge run? And then I'm waiting for the last pack to come in. Good. Since they apparently don't want to come in, we're going to come to them. They're coming a bit closer. At least that's what the blips say. But it does not seem as if they would want to come out. I don't want, don't really want to go to the window over there. Perfect outcome would be them essentially running into the kitchen here, just taking all of the shots. But it is what it is. Well, this is certainly going to be interesting. We got the high ground up here. We're a bit short on explosives. But I think we can still manage. So. Moving up. Let's hit that uh, mutant right there. It's going to be our first target. Yep, very nice hit. Both of the operatives on the rooftop are a bit too close. They theoretically could uh, eat a grenade. We don't want that to happen, but I'm pretty confident that we can deal with it. Good to 
92% shot missed. That is unfortunate to say the least. Luckily we got the lightning hands. There we go, buddy. Good job. Moving in and hitting the Spectre. Moving out further. Let's just take that mutant out for now. We're going to take care about him next turn. Stasis is such a great skill. Good. This guy is now trying to vanish. Which is fine, he'll be somewhere. Still got to deal with the cover. Moving straight into the open, because I know that we're going to kill uh, the mutant. Just gotta get rid of the cover, really. There we go. That's number one. Moving closer. That's number two. Oh, we don't even have shredding yet. That is suboptimal. Putting an aid protocol uh, down there just for good measure. I don't think that we're going to get shot from a vanishing position. The Spectre usually goes for uh, shadow bound. Well, and that's not going to work out for him very well. There we go, it's almost down. Moving a bit closer to get that weapon proximity and let's try to level our sniper. Didn't work. Templar was already leveled so that's fine. Anyways, uh, team did pretty well. I think we flawless this one here. Straightforward, that was a good mission. I like where that was going. Not sure, however, if we're going to win the strategy layer. That one is uh, a bit more difficult. Look at that, four promotions. We got Profit here. <laughs> He's even genius level. Oh my gosh, and look at that, he has Fortress. That is the most perfect um, Templar that I've seen in a while. Bladestorm Fortress, by far the two top skills for Templar. He got six of them. Genius level, combat intelligence, I don't know uh, what you did, but this character is off the charts. Might as well pump all of the points into him, because he definitely could carry that campaign. Going to go for medical protocol. We're going to go for shredder. <laughs> Kobayashi. Someone was watching a lot of Star Trek, it seems. And lightning hands. Perfect. Good. Important promotions, I might say. We even got some uh, PCSs out of there. And we got some intel plus a scientist and uh, even ca um, countered 
a dark event which is fantastic so let's see personal combat sims uh, i would say plus dodge for him so that he can tank as for the conditioning i usually like to give that onto our um, underscore healing um, end of underscore uh, specialists because if you're putting it onto specialists then they will have a higher chance surviving being critically hit and that's exactly what we're looking for so it's really helpful for them we got alien encryption going we got a lot going our way now the question is how can we continue supplies that is great i love supplies but let's also increase the regional income first almost done with that kind of getting up that continuous income so we're looking at another 20 supplies might not sound like much but it actually is quite a bit Yeah, we probably need to go for supplies again the reason why i am strictly going for supplies is we need to build up more um, connections so we gotta get those contacts up and unless the contact is spawning which unfortunately is not at the moment we gotta continue getting supplies and building up those contacts Good. We just de uh, have a decrease in income. Luckily, that was none of our uh, sectors. Oh boy, this here looks dire. Well, we're we're almost down. This is this is pretty uh, bleak because I don't have another way of countering any of that, even if we're getting to the stronghold the only uh, option that we do have is hopefully hopefully getting a uh, uh, reduce the avatar progress that's basically what we're what we're hoping that helps us but we need a covert ops uh, mission or we got to finish that school jack and use it in combat so that we can reduce the avatar project or get a resistance order i don't think that it's going to be that simple though inspire is good solace is better okay we got another ambush going i will play that off screen and we're ending uh, the mission here or we're ending today's episode here we'll rejoin after the ambush the reason why i'm playing it off screen is i don't think that it's particularly interesting or uh, you've seen a hundred of ambushes and i rather want to uh, provide content that is meaningful and um, and that really creates a challenge so let me run through the ambush try to level up whatever soldier we do have available and then we're continuing afterwards. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You really would do me a favor. And uh, see you in the next run, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.